Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Chris Winter and in this video I'm going to give you a few tips on the best video settings for your brand new Canon 80D. And guys, after you watch this, definitely make sure to check out my top five list of the best lenses to shoot video with. I go into a lot of detail explaining which ones would be good for you and why. Now, I'll put a link in the description box below under this video if you want to check it out. But anyway, let's take a look at the video settings on your new Canon 80D. So the first thing that we're going to look at is frame rates. And what we're going to do is hit the Q button. Then to change your frame rate, you're going to go to this button right here. You can see we have all of these different options. Now, we have 59.94, which is essentially 60 frames per second. If we want to select that, that'll work really well for doing slow motion because in post, you can slow it down and you're going to get some really smooth slow motion. For most of my videos, I shoot in at 29.97, which is essentially 30 frames per second. And this works really well for most videos that you're going to be getting on the internet. Now, you can also choose 23.98, which 98, sorry, which is 24 frames per second, which is very cinematic kind of look. And you're going to get a little bit more motion blur with it. So if you want to get the most cinematic look, most people are going to shoot with 24 frames per second. So the next thing we're going to do is change our picture profile. And this is really important if you want to be doing any color grading or color correction in post. So again, we're going to hit Q. I'm going to go to this option right here. It's the third one down. And you can see that we are currently in the automatic picture profile. And this is what your Canon 80D is going to come set with. Now, this isn't, a bad, this isn't a bad picture profile, but it can be quite saturated and quite contrasty. And what we want to do is actually get a little bit more of a flatter image so we can correct it better in post. So hit that again. And what I normally use is the N1 here, which is neutral. And what you can actually do is if you hit info, you can actually change all the settings. So I like to have my sharpness all the way down to zero. Sometimes these cameras do over sharpen a little bit. I bring my contrast, contrast down to minus two. I like to have my saturation to about minus one. And then the bottom one, I leave it like that. Now, you can play with these and adjust them the way you want to do it. And if you know you're not going to be uh, color grading in post, which is something that I don't normally do for my YouTube videos, simply because I don't have enough time, I'll just leave it on neutral and it will work really quite well. Now, one of the most important things when you're making videos is having good audio quality. And to change the audio settings, you go to menu, then down to the fourth option across and it says sound recording. Now it's normally set to automatic, but I like to change it to manual and you're gonna be getting better results. And normally, I like to have mine as low as possible without being completely turned off. That way, you're not gonna be using the preamps in the camera and you're gonna be able to use the microphone that you plug in. Now there isn't a microphone plugged in right now, but I always recommend either getting a microphone like a Rode Video Mic Pro or what I use, which is a lavalier mic plugged in to the side here. And then you wanna bring the audio levels down so you're getting the best quality audio. So now I wanna talk about autofocus. And as we know, the Canon 80D has a really good autofocusing system. Now, there are a few different options that you can use to set the autofocus. To change the way you wanna do it, you press the autofocus at the top right here and we have three different options. The ones that I use most often are the face tracking, which is what I use for pretty much all of my videos where I'm on camera. And the other one is flexi zone single. And this is what I want uh, to use when I really wanna get an accurate autofocus. So I'll just show you here quickly. I'll jump into the screen. If I have autofocus on with the face tracking, you'll be able to see that it can keep me in focus really quite well and it does work very, very quickly. But if I really want to be able to focus on something and also do focus pulls, what I like to do is change it to flexi zone single. And then we see we get this little square right here. If I move my finger anywhere on the screen, whatever is in that square is going to quickly and smoothly come into focus. So say you've got a person walking to you, you could use the face tracking, but if you really want to make sure you're going to be getting uh, the mint focus all the time. What I like to do is keep my finger on their body and then move as they would move. And that for me is going to be the best and most accurate way of getting autofocus on the Canon 80D. Now one really cool feature on the Canon 80D which I really like to use is the digital zoom function. And what you do is hit the Q button, then go down to the third option and then you can hit digital zoom three to ten times. And what this is going to do is give you a three times zoom on the image that you've got. And this will work at every focal length. So we're at 18 millimeters right now. You can zoom in even to 55 millimeters and it's gonna be three times that amount. Now you can actually even zoom in more all the way up to 10 times. But I do find that anywhere past about five times, 
you're gonna get too much image quality loss. At three times, you're almost getting no image quality loss. So it's a really good way if you've only got one lens and you need to get a little bit closer to get that shot. So one thing that's really important if you wanna get a really clean video and you don't wanna have a lot of digital noise is changing your ISO so it's as low as possible without your exposure getting too dark. Now, as you can see right here, I'm shooting at ISO 200 and it does seem to be quite a nice shot. So the lower the ISO, the cleaner the image you're gonna be getting. Of course, sometimes you're gonna to have to shoot at a higher ISO. I normally like to shoot up to around about 3200 on the Canon 80D, but any more than that and you're gonna be getting a pretty much unusable image. Now, another tip is to use an image stabilized lens whenever possible, especially if you're gonna be shooting handheld. Now, I've got the Canon 18 to 55 millimeter STM right here, and this has image stabilization, so I'll show you what it's like without it. As you can see, it can be really quite wobbly, even at 18 millimeters. And what I'll do is now turn it on, and you can see, even when I walk around, you can get a relatively stable shot. It really can make quite a big difference. So there are a couple of video settings that I use on my Canon 80D. They're all pretty basic. That should give you a bit of a head start if you want to get into the world of video. Now guys, also make sure to check out my top five list of the best lenses to shoot video with. I'll put a link in the description box below under this video if you want to check it out. Hope you guys have a fantastic day and happy shooting with your Canon 80D. See ya.